What's going on everyone and welcome to another episode of Watch It In Action. I'm your host, Baus Phoenix, and today we're covering the Mios, a weapon a lot of you have been asking for. Let's jump in. The Mios is a fairly unique weapon in Warframe and was added around update 17. I say unique because at the time, this was the only blade and whip weapon to exist in the game. It would later be joined by the Lacera, and currently, at the time of this video, those are the only two weapons of this type in Warframe. The Mios is a force to be reckoned with. It's fast, deadly, and pretty awesome to look at if you dig the infested aesthetic. The weapon's base damage is made up of the typical physical damage types, with slash damage being the highest, and it's no wonder considering the way this weapon looks. The Mios also ticks quite a few boxes on the is this weapon any good checklist. It's got decent critical chance, high status chance, massive range, and fairly quick attack speed. These features pretty much make it a no-brainer when choosing a solid melee weapon and open up a wide array of build possibilities. If you're looking to get a Mios of your own, you'll have to research the blueprint for it in your clan's infested lab. After that's done, you can replicate the blueprint and build it for yourself. You can also buy it from the market for platinum. As I said earlier in this video, the Mios' stats give you a lot of flexibility in choosing a build. As always, there are a lot of different choices and the build I've put together is one that I've found to be very effective in just about any situation. You don't have to to use this build. If you've got one you think is better, then use that. That's the beauty of Warframe. The build I'm using here is what I like to call a hybrid build. I found that using status and crit together really made this weapon shine, especially with the inclusion of the new event mods like Blood Rush. As for the build itself, I'm using Defiled Snapdragon, which is currently the only stance mod for blade and whip weapons. In the first row, I've got Organ Shatter. This mod is going to increase our critical damage output and make the build a lot more viable. The next three spaces are reserved for 60% elemental mods. These give us elemental damage while increasing our status chance to a whopping 70% percent, which is significant given this weapon's attack speed. The elements I'm using in this video are just a placeholder. Use whatever elemental combos you need depending on the faction you're fighting. In the bottom row, we're using Berserker. This mod increases our attack speed with every critical hit up to 75%. It may seem weird to use this mod when we only have a 15% critical chance, but the other mods on our list are going to account for that. Speaking of, our next mod is Body Count. This mod increases the time we have to chain together combo points. This is important because Blood Rush is going to increase our critical chance the higher our combo count is. The more time we have to build our combo multiplier, the more critical hits we can generate, and the faster our attacks will be. Can you see how these mods can work together? Lastly, to round out the build and give us a massive increase to our physical and elemental damage across the board, I've thrown on a primed pressure point. If you don't have the primed version of this, just use the regular one. It won't be as effective, but it's better than nothing. In an effort to put my money where my mouth is, I'd like to show you in a controlled environment how this weapon performs against the average sortie level enemy. For that, we're using the Simulacrum and we'll be fighting against a smattering of level 100 Void enemies. It's no surprise, as you can see here, that a Slash weapon would do a good deal of damage against flesh-based targets like these Corrupted Ancients. What I was pleasantly surprised to find is that we were able to make short work of even the heavily armored targets, such as the Corrupted Gunners. The medium armored targets like the Corrupted Lancers also went down fairly easily as well. That's because the corrosive I'm using on these enemies, coupled with the high status chance and attack speed of the Mios, is destroying their armor, leaving them little in the way of any sort of defense. And there you have it guys, a perfectly usable Mios build requiring no forma investment. If you haven't picked up this weapon yet, I highly recommend you do so. Additionally, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to support it with a like. It helps me out a lot here on YouTube. Lastly, if you're new here, consider subscribing. This channel is growing quickly, and this is a chance to be a part of something big. Anyways, have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys at the next video, and as always, thank you so much for watching.